SLK 55. Today it's Saturday, <clears throat> February 4th, 2023. It's supposed to be 2005. Alright, let's see how many kilometers. Wakey, wakey. Fifty one thousand kilometers. Omar, Omar, he told me yesterday to, to check out the car. The car looks in very good condition. Yeah, it's in floating, nice. They remove two spark plugs, one per bank, it looks fine. It looks okay, I don't see any problem. Stay there. The covers, classic like always, and the intake manifold. It's coming apart, same thing like the Mofi 6, same thing when you have magnesium in your recipe. What to do, what to expect, right? <coughs> I believe that they have washed it before, the engine. It looks that it's nice and soft. Nice. Cool and expansion tank. Oh, it's okay. It's not burnt. It does look like it's burnt, at least. <coughs> okay. Nice, nice, nice. It's okay, it's okay. Here we have some parts. There are the airbox air ducts. This bracket, this bracket is supposed to be here. Why it's like that? What the hell done here? Ah, they fix a custom radiator. From this side, it's plastic. This, this is plastic. Okay, this side is... This side is aluminum. <laughs> this bracket is to support the radiator, but I don't see any problem with the bracket, to be honest. And then we have here ignition coils. All right. This it's supposed to be from the customer these parts, probably. And since he didn't brought the spark plugs, that means he ch he changed the spark plugs recently. And let's see the battery. Keep it there. No, no clips here. Nice. It's a racing. It is coming apart, it's burnt. What do we have here? We have any date here? Mm, nope. It, okay, it's a battery. Now it is what it is, right? All right, let me see if they make a health report. Here it's supposed to have a rubber. Here at this point, it's supposed to have a rubber seal. If I remember right, it's missing and here it's supposed to have one plastic holder for the upper radiator hose. Again, if I remember right. 
all right fine one second to find the health report it's supposed to be there all right on the ECU there is one fault that's stored the low limit it's active it's active all right supply voltage of the control module is too low Let's see, I'm the component of the signal wire to the component the AC compressor has an open circuit or circuit, so circuit to ground. These are stored, by the way. Let's explain has a circuit open circuit. Okay, this is the bulb, the light for the number plate. Door control module. Okay. Audio gateway. All right. Nice. I'm not flipping the other page because the VIN... No need to see the, the ring. <laughs> Let's lift it up to watch from down. Grounds in place. Once again, I can't see. Yeah, it is. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Let's lift it up. See tires, brakes, suspension, all these things. It looks okay. It looks nice and clean. Doesn't look bad. All right. Outside, 13 week of 22, continental, not bad. Rim looks okay. Brake pads, yep, it's fine. It's fine. Brake rotor, very small lip. Tread looks excellent. From inside, looking good. Looking good. In a brake pad, yep. Brake line, a little bit tired, but it's it's a multi-layer, it's not it's just only this rubber, okay? it's not just a pipe, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, all right. In a, looks okay. Yeah, brake pad okay. Beautiful. 25th week of 22. Outside, Continental, brake rotor, same like the other one. Outer brake pad, yep, perfect, excellent. Nice, nice, very good. Front right, 0922, outside, Continental. Small leap on the brake rotor. Brake pad, yeah, it's nice. Good, 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 nice, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful inside, looks nice. Linear brake pad, perfect. Brake rubber looks okay, nothing wrong here. The stabilizer bar link, a little bit tired. Up there, it's a little bit wet. Here, what's the level sensor it's all off? Oh boy. I don't think so. I'll be able to put inside, comes apart, need the link. Yeah. It won't gonna stay there. Yep. And the plug, what? The plug is out. I know it's broken the plug. It is inside, but it's broken the outer. Alright. Inner. Looks okay, brake pad looks okay, brake rubber looks nice. Outside, 0922, looks nice and clean. Minor lip, brake pad nice, excellent. So, brakes, tires, looks nice. Yeah, nice, nice. All right, let's start from back. Let's start from here back. A little bit to the left. Need a small adjustment here to come a little bit to the right. The muffler. Nice. The clips here. The foam 
the bumper reinforcement. It's in place. Well, this one does have bumper reinforcement. It's one piece with chassis. That's okay. The cover in place. Outer axle boot. Inner. Most probably it's been replaced recently. That's how it looks like. It looks fresh. Nice and good one. Very good. The link here up. It's in place. Good. The breather. It's not leaking. The seals here on the diff. Looks nice and dry. Perfect. Drives after a coupler. I don't see any crack. Yeah, something minor here, not something crazy. Okay. No leak. Not smelling fuel. Charcoal canister in place. This is that's the grease that gets sprayed from the axle boot before they replace it, obviously. It just fell a little bit on it. Not something crazy. Nice, nice. So absorber. I don't see any leak. See anything from this side. Nice. All right, if it's working, it's fine. <laughs> Ground, transmission mount, yes, it's okay. It's a little bit down. It's halfway down, that's okay. It didn't touch full down, has a life. All right. Yeah, the rubber is in place. Good, it's been rebuilt, this transmission. That's why the tag. Yeah, this is not the ideal to touch the oxygen sensor wiring on the gallium converter. You can just root it, to don't touch. I'm gonna say this to the guys, to take care about that. To don't touch the cable, like I said. Transmission. Most probably they replaced the transmission oil recently because it's very soft and it's a little bit wet here. It's okay when you put a new seal, it's fine. Again, we need to ask the owner. Here we have a leak. Oh shit, we have a big leak. From where? Ah, the damper pulley seal. It's leaking. You cannot see through the camera, but yeah, I can see the leak. And it might come also from the oil filter housing. That's the classic one. All this area here, it's wet. All right. Let's continue down here on the oil pan. Yep. Engine mount should be good because floating the engine. I see good gap here between the cross member and the oil pan. Lower arms, Febby, nothing, nothing wrong with that. It's made in Germany. Same quality like the original one, like the OEM, this OE. The wiring wet's like that here. This is for the steering rack. This is for the steering rack. How they wrote like that? This comes from here. This is supposed to come the wiring from here. Not from there. They take care of the car, but there are some small details. They didn't take care about it. This grommet need to come inside here, not be out. Okay. Classic, like always, I'm gonna check if it's if it has any space, the inner tie rod or the outer tie rod or the steering rack, but not with the camera. One, two. Yeah, minor leak from there. It's a little bit wet. And need, need the link. Need the link here. 
just before you change before you change the link you have to measure it to put again the same height but don't have any headache what do we have here some cables hanging around oh boy and this fiberglass ah it's been repaired the bumper not a big deal it's a bumper after all take a look at the condenser <laughs> no comment on that the radiator what they have done they put this aluminum this is not the the plastic one from this side it's a plastic one from this side it's aluminum one If it's working, I guess it's fine. The, <laughs> the outside temperature sensor. All right. Uh, there was a small accident, probably. Probably. I have seen that before. I have seen in garages here in this country that instead of getting let us say a used bumper a used healthy bumper with the brackets with everything and resprayed or let us say polished because in some cases you can find same bumper with the same color instead of doing that they prefer to spend one week putting together one bumper that's in 10 different pieces than to go and get one used bumper to be nice and clean and paint it or polish it and put it on talking about all these repairs that has he there, here, from this side, <laughs> also there. Yeah, I don't know. They think that if they, re if they repair one bumper that's like a puzzle that has 20 pieces, they're gonna they're not going to spend some money, but they're not thinking that they have to pay a salary on an employee for 10 days to put together the bumper. <laughs> and they don't care at all for the customer, for the owner, obviously. Okay, overall looking good. Not bad. Has some problems. All right, let me take a look at the contents of how it looks like. It's supposed to be on the air. Ah, yeah, it is on the air. Yeah, the condenser it is on the air. <laughs> Has support from the lines only. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <sighs> and most probably the owner, he doesn't know about that. The owner, he's happy that outside looks okay. Ah, here we have some masking tape. They take care of the details. <laughs> All right. I have no clue what they, what needs this car, other than the two air ducts and the ignition coils and the link over there. I'm going to check the suspension, like always, front and rear. I need the pry bar, crowbar pry bar, called as you like. Covers. This is supposed to be the covers. Yeah, they leak from there. Also, the damper pull you see. Yeah, yeah. Need to get a pen and paper and write it down. What in hell? This filter is different and this filter is different. Or both of them are gone. Because this looks like it's come apart. Yeah. Fine. If I don't see anything, if I didn't find any. Need to be root the cable here, like I said. Some small things. Yeah, small things. <laughs> yeah, all right, never mind. Uh, this, the link. Uh, I said about the link, about the damper pulley seal. Checking the suspension. Coil air ducts, right? The rubber that's missing. And back, it looks okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna leave now the phone. I'm gonna get the pry bar to check a little bit the links, the suspension to see that everything's okay, that doesn't have any problem with the bushes or the ball joint. And moving on. Moving on. On this one, the fuel tank, it's. Oh shit, you have to move the cover to see the fuel tank. To see the fuel pump, the cover, I mean. I'll go and save the guys to take it out, to don't have any leak. <sighs> yeah, that's it. That's all. If there is any news for this car, I'll go and make another video. If not, that's it. That's the end. Thank you.